With the new Insta360 GO 2, this now supports two different kinds of video capture. Well, actually more if you think about all the other new modes like HDR mode and of course time shift, which was there before. But I'm talking about basic video and what is now called pro video on the GO 2. In this video, you'll learn the difference between basic and pro video, especially when it comes to stabilization and how you export the files from your go to. So let's go to. First off, let's try a little demonstration of what you get when you capture similar video sequences using those two video modes, basic and pro video. I'll use this kind of motion demonstrated here while jogging forward so you can check what happens with both horizon leveling and stabilization when I'm capturing the video. And pay attention, because it makes a difference. I'll show you them side by side here, and then let's analyze the results, and I'll share some other tips for you about how to get the best out of your go-to, especially for other modes like slow motion. So let's roll the tape. did you notice there? Be sure to share with me and others in the comments below. It's always good to read your thoughts and chat with you. It's one of the best things about making these videos actually. All right, let's analyze. The plain video mode gives you a basic level of stabilization. The advantage of using it is that you can start capturing by just pressing the button once when the camera's powered off and just even taking that one second to powering it on and using pro video would just take too long and you miss the moment. The other advantage that you saw is that horizon leveling is switched off in basic off <laughs> in basic video mode, which can be useful at times. And it's a fundamental reason why FPV mode on the original Go was so popular with FPV drone pilots. Another advantage of basic video mode is that it records directly to MP4 format. You don't need to post process using the app. You can just send it to any other app or other device straight away and start using it. One disadvantage of the basic video mode, however, apart from the stabilization, is that the aspect ratio you record in is the one you're stuck with. You can't adjust it during editing. With basic video mode, you can shoot a maximum clip length of 15 minutes. Okay, let's talk about pro video and the differences here. You can see that flow state stabilization is superior to basic stabilization in that comparison and that you have horizon leveling locked on too. You also have that option to adjust the aspect ratio during editing for pro video. And yes, you have to export and process it through the app or through the Insta360 desktop studio to apply that smooth flow state stabilization. Shooting in pro video mode with that flow state stabilization gives you a maximum clip length of 10 minutes. And for slow motion, like I said at the beginning of this video, it records using basic stabilization and you need to select the aspect ratio that you want before you start shooting. More about that in an upcoming video soon. Share, like, applaud, and subscribe for more from me. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Here's more from me on the go-to that I think you'll like. My name's Saab Johal, and laters in it.